What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. This is episode number 71 and we start today's episode off with Oda Lucy coming to us and saying thanks for the playing time which is kind of surprising because he hasn't been playing much this season. Uh, of course because we have reverted to a 4-2-3-1 formation. We only play with one striker. We brought in Lukaku uh, and obviously Anthony is the bench striker. Oda Lucy and Sharp, the other two strikers we have, haven't really been getting the game time. Sharp's barely played a single minute of football this season. Oda Lucy, yeah he's played a few games but not too too many and uh, to be honest guys uh, having read your comments once again thank you very much for all the comments a few of you have been telling me uh, you know giving me transfer targets and uh, things to do in the transfer window because of course we are coming up to January now and um, there have been a few of you that have been saying that I should look to sell or the Lucy or Sharp because um, you know we're coming into January and we don't really need to have those two strikers that barely play but I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it I like to have at least four strikers in the team just in case of an injury crisis but uh, I don't know there's, some, there's been some fantastic transfer comments so thank you all all very much for those if you have any suggestions for the transfer window feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to check them out but um, you do see a few transfer deals in today's episode so look forward to that and um, yeah it should be good fun to watch but um, anyway guys we take on Cardiff for the first game of the episode here uh, the Welsh side coming to us of course uh, we come on the back of a 3-0 defeat to Spurs that was only our second league loss of the season uh, both defeats have been against North London clubs and Arsenal and Spurs so uh, we came on the back of that 3-0 defeat looking to do better in this game and it was kind of had the first chance of the game, but we had a really good chance in the 57th minute here. Uh, a chip shot which uh, Joe Lewis managed to tip up in the but uh, tip, up, tip up in the air, and it was cleared off the line. But uh, we made a double substitution here as things weren't working out for us. Dale Jennings came on, so that's always good news. And uh, Anthony also came on for us. And uh, in the 69th minute here, uh, Nathaniel Klein gets past his man, uh, goes down the right hand side. Eventually, Redmond robs the fullback here, goes down the right hand side, gets inside his man with a fake shot, comes into the area. Great chance for Redmond to score the first time, uh, t um, first goal of the game, and he does just that. In the 70th minute, Redmond gets the goal, and it's 1-0 to us with 20 minutes to go. And a few minutes after that, Dale Jennings off the bench collects the ball here. Plays it out wide to our captain, Leroy Fair, back in the side now after injury. Eventually, the ball comes back to him after a piece of lucky uh, deflection. Comes to Leroy Fair. His shot is well saved, however, by Joe Lewis, and it's cleared away by Cardiff, so still 1-0. But we kept the pressure on here. Ross Barkley gives it to Vlad Kirikas, our centre-back here. Runs forward. Ends up giving the ball away, but eventually, Cardiff gives the ball away again. Eventually. Eventually, here we go. Yes, Ross Barkley collects the ball here. Chips it over the top towards the run of Dale Jennings and his shot is brilliantly saved by Joe Lewis and it is still 1-0. But as the game was being closed out, Cardiff really didn't threaten to get that equalising goal. We came on a break here. Nathan Redman releases Dale Jennings. Jennings goes down the left-hand side, tries to chip the ball over Joe Lewis and it's just perfectly weighted. I mean, you know, who's got the better chip shots? Dale Jennings or Jeremy Menez? It's ridiculous. Both of those are awesome for me in career mode and ultimate team but uh, it's a great chip by Dale Jennings and uh, it's a fantastic finish and we're 2-0 up. And in the 88th minute here, Vinaldum comes through, rolls the ball over to Anthony. Anthony skips past his man with a fake shot, takes aim, but Joe Lewis makes a very, very good save as he puts the ball wide uh, for a corner to us. Townsend crosses the corner in towards the head of Anthony. Anthony's header goes just over the bar, so still 2-0. But in the 90th minute here in injury time, Ross Barkley finds Vinaldum. Vinaldum goes down the right hand side, rolls it off through to Anthony. Anthony with the uh, fake shot goes through one-on-one -on -one and ends up blasting the ball past Joe Lewis. So it's 3-0. That's how the game finish. Our substitutes, Anthony and Dale Jennings, both got a goal each. Redmond got the other, and uh, yeah, we cut to 3 0 win uh, with three goals in the last 20 minutes. So, a really, really good result. It was very, very difficult to break Cardiff down in that game, as it is with most teams on Legendary, really, but uh, was pleased to get a win, and we bounced back from that 3 0 defeat uh, at Spurs with a 3 0 win at Carrow Road, which is great news for us. But um, anyway, we're now into January, as I just mentioned here. We're now into January, so here's a look at the youth score monthly report, and uh, once again, the players look quite poor. Probably going to release pretty much all of those apart from Danny Thomas, I think it is, who looks quite good. So, um, yeah, not looking too good at our academy. And as you can see here, uh, the transfer market is now open, which is fantastic because... Uh well, it means we can do some business, which is great because uh, that's that, that always makes for more entertaining videos when you can see the uh, the upload and do some transfer business. But uh, behind the scenes, I've been using the Global Transfer Network once again just to, to take a look at the players that have their contracts expiring in a year. And uh, there's been, uh, been some good players, really, some some good players on there. And uh, Ravel Morrison is one of those. He's 22, so sadly he's one year younger than he needs to be for us to be able to pick him up on a free agent. But we can buy him and hopefully look for a reduced price because uh, price, West Ham will probably look to sell him on uh, if he's 
he's not going to sign a new contract. And uh, I decided to offer West Ham Diego Perotti because Perotti came in on 60 grand a week and he has been absolutely shambolic. I, I said uh, when we first signed him on a pre-contract deal, he's probably going to be a reserve winger at best. He probably will barely get any game time. And on 60 grand a week, he's just been eating into our wage budget. It's been a complete waste of money. It was my fault. It was my stupid fault. I just thought, you know, maybe if there's an injury crisis on our wingers, you know, Perotti could come in and add some class. He's a 78 rated winger, I think, or 77 at least, which is really good. But, um, you know, he's, he's been terrible. Even in the games he's played, he's been absolutely shambolic. So with that in mind, I thought we'll, we'll try and give West Ham uh, Perotti plus 1 million because that equates to around 3.9 million for Morrison, which is about how much he's worth. So, you know, I'll take that. I'll take that. If they, if they accept that, that seems like a good deal for us because we'll be getting rid of a player we don't use. We'll be reducing a wage budget because Morrison uh, only earns half of what Perotti earns. So that could be good business. He's younger. He's got a lot of potential, Ravel Morrison. And uh, yeah, I mean, the CM areas are an area which we don't really need to strengthen. I do know that as you're looking at the squad report. But at the end of the day, it's it's more first team class. It's more young English talent. And that's always nice. So um, hopefully we'll be looking to get Morrison in. And uh, that'll be great news for us. Oh, Perotti's a 77. But uh, yeah, Perotti's been terrible. So we can leave. But uh, halfway through the season, this is what the league table looks like. We're in fourth place here. Uh, exactly where we finished last season and uh, we've got nine wins eight draws which is kind of worrying uh, the most draws in the league or the joint most draws in the league I should say uh, only two defeats which is good but um, yeah you know letting in 22 goals is not good either but we're five points behind Liverpool in third and um, you know we're only three points out of United I think it is an eighth so we're kind of in this area where we're fourth to eighth we're not in fourth to first if you know what I mean we're kind of drifting away from the front runners and we're getting pulled back by the uh, teams that are trying to chase us and catch up in fourth place which is kind of frustrating I'm doing my best to make sure we can uh, pick up maximum points in most games and uh, pull away and you know start to cement a place in the Champions League you know maybe look for a third second place finish this season if the title is a bit too far-fetched but you know it's we're just getting dragged back and it's really really annoying because we're not making our chances count and draws you know we need more wins than draws and we've only got one more win than a draw this season we've got nine wins and eight draws that's not good enough man we need to have like you know uh, more wins and less draws is what I'm trying to say here but yeah it's it's kind of frustrating because you know we're nine points behind the leaders and uh, we, we're just we're falling away from the pack a little bit and those draws aren't helping but even so we do take on Southampton for the following game here in this episode and uh, also the last game of the episode as well as uh, Pochettino's men come to Carrow Road here and uh, Vitor Wanyama has the first chance of the game in the 12th minute here but his free kick is expertly saved by Jack Butland so uh, he won't be having any spaghetti tonight to celebrate and it's still nil, <laughs> still nil nil and in the 40 third minute here, Chaloba goes down the right hand side uh, crosses the ball into the centre, it's up in the air, it comes to Dale Jennings with a lovely bicycle kick into the top corner, god this guy is amazing, it's just ridiculous Jennings with an amazing bicycle kick into the top corner and um, yeah I mean, it was a free you know, free bicycle kick, there's no one marking him or anything but um, you know he wasn't too far out either but come on it's still pretty impressive and uh, it's a lovely lovely finish by Dale Jennings, uh, goalkeeper route to the spot and it's 1-0 here and we're in front and in the 64th minute here Kirikez plays an amazing free ball forward absolutely love Kirikez what a signing he's been comes to Anthony Anthony goes through 1-1 -on but he drags his shot onto the post so still 1-0 to us here and in the 70th minute here Andros Townsend collects the ball takes on his man beats him with the drag back and a double step over gets himself through two bodies there's the fake shot pulls out the shot good save by the goalkeeper it's headed away only as far as our captain Leroy Fair looking for room to shoot it's blocked and uh, Southampton failed to clear the ball it comes to Anthony here Anthony chips the ball forward to Dale Jennings who takes aim and it's a great save by the goalkeeper and he claims it as well substitution made here two for us Ikram and Redmond came off for Vijnaldum and Jennings and uh, Juve came off for Pelosi for Southampton uh, and in the 88th minute here Southampton who had really threatened all game here uh, end up collecting the ball after a poor header by uh, I'm not sure who it was who headed the ball up in the air eventually it comes to Juve who finds Jack Cork Cork finds Jay Rodriguez here Rodriguez plays an amazing free ball to Juve off the bench chips the ball into the back of the net and in the 89th minute Southampton grabbed the equaliser and that's how the game finishes so again this is the point I'll be making all season we're not closing games out we're not looking convincing we're dropping too many points and this is what's going to stop us from being a side that competes for the title at the end of the season so really frustrating we could only get a draw we should have won that game uh, Lukaku also got an injury there he's going to be out for three weeks which sucks and um, yeah very disheartening we didn't win that game but we've got to take the positives it wasn't a loss we've only lost twice this season but even so very disappointing not to win but uh, West Ham accepted a £1 million bid plus Diego Perotti which is fantastic 
fantastic because I don't want Perotti, and that seems like quite a good deal for Morrison as well. So we offer him a contract and hope he'll, hopefully he'll come in. And we also had a transfer from Nathan Redmond, and it's Southampton. And look at this beard from Southampton. It is about, yeah, 15 and a half million pounds for Redmond. That is not bad at all. But we do decide to counter offer for a lot of money because I don't want to get rid of Redmond and I like him to stay. But as always, guys, a big thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please leave likes. It's much appreciated. It really does help my channel out. And I will see you for next episode of the career mode tomorrow.